Okay, 1694, good luck. Should be green, just gone green now. 10,000 games are rapid, that's really impressive. I've done 270 odd. 279, just come up to 280. Okay, against e6 you generally do this, and c6 you generally do this, just as a general rough guide. Yeah, so it's got a good connection there. Castle and maybe B3. <coughs> Just got to watch out for the bishop coming here, attacking the rook, of course. Probably bishop up next move, depends on what my opponent does. I could even go up two and just challenge this bishop straight away, but I think I'll just go onto the diagonal, and there's a case of how do we want to challenge the center. D4 is probably best, but it will walk into this. So I'll just do an early E3 for now, preparing D4. I mean, knight up might be a perfectly good move as well. A4 might be a good move, but once the pawns have gone forward, they can't come back. Taking a long time, it says excellent connections. So are probably just thinking about what to do. Okay, I was played knight across. So d3, I guess, is the logical move here. Can't push forward. So I'm just going to go d3. Maybe queen up I could do as well. <coughs> there is no immediate bishop f5, so queen up is probably sensible. It prepares to bring the rooks into... The center of the board, knight up. Yeah, queen up is probably my next likely move. But of course, it always depends on what your opponent does. Mm, a4 might still be a move, actually. And then queen to b3 might prompt a move like b5. Sorry, a5. Bishops come forward. So now that kind of tempts you to go forward. Right now you would lose your pawn. So I'm still just looking at the um, queen up. Hey, my arrows are not very good. I don't see anything better right now. Prepares to complete minor piece development. Then try and get the rooks more in the middle of the board at some point. Okay, so he's headed that off. Can I actually take here now, though? If he goes with the queen, I mean, my rook would hang, I can push. I guess my rook would hang, that's a problem. Now I am threatening take, and if you go with the queen, we hit two pieces, so you'd have to go with a pawn. It might be fine if this bishop's lost. It might not be that big of an issue, but it's still something to deal with. I mean, the immediate pawn push might be a move as well, if you take, then take here. Kind of the same thing in a way. So there is a little basic threat on the board, but you can perfectly take with the pawn now. Yeah, he's headed that off. Um, how do we want to do this now? Maybe just a simple pawn fall. Try and create another threat again. If you come here, 
Hmm, what do we do? Knight across feels like it might be getting trapped. So I'm just looking at this, create another threat. So pawn up, pawn down, knight back. I mean, I could play knight across first. I don't really want to go here and double pawns up. So maybe knight here again, you just create the same threat. I think I'll do that. Just create the threat this way. I see two attack right now and two defend. So I'd expect a move like bishop back, let's just see. Then do I want to keep the rook here to push this pawn up the board? Just try and go right up, or do I want to bring the rook more into the middle? Maybe I can bring the knight round this way actually, yeah, but bishop f5 is likely to come at some point, I love it. Just common sense development news I'm looking for right now. Okay, knights come forward to attack the bishop. Hmm. Okay, so is pawn up a move? I don't think it is. Do I want to try and keep the bishop? I could drop back. Or I can just go for an imbalance. Play a rook across, takes, takes. I guess you can do this at some point now. Hmm. Maybe ignore it and knight forward. I don't think there's any tricks moving the knight out the way, but bishop back. You're probably going to push. Yeah, I like the idea of moving this knight actually. So I think, um, man, if I drop back, it's a little bit in the way, but I think I'm going to do this. So just hope I'm not blundering here. I'll take back. I'm trying to challenge this centre ground and maybe rook behind my pawn and eventually push forward. Okay, and bishop up, at least I've got the option to go e4, even if I don't want to do it. It's an option. I think I'd rather push the d pawn. Bishops come right down, okay. So I guess I want rook across, otherwise there is actually a threat there. You might look to double up as well. So I'm going to do that. Got the option to drop the bishop back if you double up and come forward. And then we cover this threat, which was to win a pawn. Knight up is still a potential move. This pawn is a bit weak now though, so I'm still looking at d4, takes, takes. Okay, launches forward. So d4, I guess you just go here, but if I push my pawn up, this is forever weak. So what about sacking here? Take, take, queen takes, rook across. I don't see me making that work. Knight up could be useful. Trade, trade, but it encourages f5. So up here. Knight back. Takes and I can't take back. Yeah, so I'm looking at this, but I don't really want to play that and forever weaken here. So I'm going to play knight up in order to give this knight a square whilst keeping the rooks connected. I could take with a pawn potentially, but it feels like I should go with a bishop if he trades. Okay, he does take. Do I want to do this? It really weakens this, doesn't it? But it kind of helps to guard against f5. Mixes things up as well, actually. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a risk and do that. I might even sack this pawn at some point. I'll play a rook across and then try and push. Hmm. This move is a little bit annoying. No obvious good path for the knight. Maybe I can counter and just sack the pawn. Down, up. If you take, I take and I hit the queen. And we're pressuring the pawn on the soul. So he comes in. Actually, that's a good move, isn't it? Hmm. I can't go here. If I go there, that is kind of covered, though. So I think I better go there for now. I don't think there's any way to trap the bishop. I don't think so. But 
a3 and then move the knight somewhere. Opponent's playing fairly well here. But if they risk f5 now, I can take and break this pawn structure up. So they have come forward. So if I play knight here, you've then got bishop down. <clears throat> so I was thinking knight here, but what am I going to do after that? It's quite risky, this. Very risky, actually. Knight up does create a basic threat, though. Pawn down. If I step up, it's activating here, so probably queen cross. These bishops are very, very tricky, though. Mm. I don't really want to play a move like f3. It looks okay at first glance, but it really weakens this diagonal in the longer run. Now I've got queen across. I don't think I can deflect the queen from the bishop. I don't want to play pawn up, so I'm looking at queen over. Oh, queen over, rook down, takes bishop in. That is actually a problem, isn't it? Doing very well. Mm, I might have to seriously look at a move like f3. I don't want to have to play the queen here though, so... Mm, I might have to play queen across, rook down, takes... Move like bishop down. Right now it's covered in it, so I'm going to do it. And I've got myself into a little bit of a negative position here, it feels like. I don't want that bishop there. I should try and kick that bishop out. Maybe you've just got pawn up here, trade, trade, and my queen's a little bit in a difficult position. I'd probably have to try and go forward, and it doesn't feel good. F3 solves these problems. Like I say, in the longer run it weakens the E3 pawns, that could be a problem. Even if it's like 10 moves down the line or something, it could be. The form's getting a little bit lower on time now. Two and a half minutes, so down to a blitz game time. Oh, it has gone for it. Okay, so I think I kind of have to take the pawn, don't I? I don't think I've got any other option but to take, but now I've got a square to come back to because the pawn's vanished. Bishop in, I can simply take, I think. So h3 might become a move to try and kick that bishop away somewhere. Maybe even h3 and g4. An opponent's under two minutes now. You've got to play the clock as well as the position. Okay, it's gone for it. Doubled the rooks up. So I think I need to play a move like h3 to give myself a square. Rook down is becoming a threat here. Right now, though, h3, where does the bishop want to go? If you do something like this, I can drop back. If you go here, you're just attacking a pawn that I don't want you to attack. Um, what about knight up to attack the rook, then? Trusting that my queen is not getting trapped. So knight up. If you come down, I can take. Take. It feels like it's an all right set of trades. The knight's not doing anything else here. Maybe pawn up to kick the bishop. But I don't see what I'm gaining with that. Knight up. H3. You can just drop back. It feels like I'm giving my opponent a good move there. So I'm just going to develop the knight and trust I'm not trapping my queen. Here, I think I've got a square, or maybe I have to take, but very perilous position. My bishop down is a move now. I might have to give up an exchange. It might be worth doing that. At least my opponent's getting low on time, but I guess if you come in now, I'd take the rook first. Hmm. There is a threat to the rook, at least. The rook moves across. I can challenge it. 
or maybe h3 next move let's see yeah under a minute now for my opponent so it's a little bit time critical oh is that a blunder actually does that allow knight to d4 here Hmm, I guess you just move the rook again, and my knight actually doesn't have anywhere obvious to go. Maybe I go to f5, though, and the knight's got tempo attacking the queen. You have to guard your bishop. Yeah, I'm looking at knight to d4. Maybe knight to c5 might be a move, because we're attacking the rook here. But again, I don't see any obvious target. I like knight to d4. If you take, and I take, you push queen back you push again maybe f3 is all i need there i'm going to risk it i don't think my opponent would have seen this move so i'm going to risk it as they are under a minute left on the clock so not a lot of thinking time i think i can stop the pawn i think i can if you take i think i just take back and then i'm opening up some counter player so again, there's still this longer term weakness, but we've up, up some material now. So bishop f3 looks good. And then try and bring the rook across. Just try and deal with this annoying bishop. And again, my pawn's down to 20 seconds, so I should be fine as long as I don't blunder. Cataclysmically now, I can even play rook across, just give up an exchange or something. You gotta make a move. Might have just given up now and just have a rest before they play another game. Yeah, but we get the win then.